I grew up in the United Kingdom. My mum was a campaigner against racism back in the 60s. And I remember as a little boy marching with her on wars against Vietnam, uh, wars against the fascists, etc., etc. So it's in my blood. And a few years ago, in 1997, I met a dear friend of mine, who's a dear friend of mine, Eva Sloss. She's a stepsister of uh, a young lady called Anne Frank, who of course perished in the Holocaust at the age of 15 years. She died six weeks before the liberation. Well, Eva is her stepsister and was in Auschwitz for nine months. She lost half her family in Auschwitz, and her story is one of many millions who suffered the same fate as her family. Well, anyway, in 1998, an American playwright wrote a, a play about Eva, and I take this play with Eva around the world. We have shown it in the British Parliament, we have shown it in the Scottish Parliament, the European Parliament. On the 10th of December, we're taking the play to Roman Island, where we're performing it there in front of Mr. Mandela's family, and uh, in association with the Genocide and Holocaust Association in South Africa. Now, I'm a Muslim, and people ask me, why as a Muslim do I direct a play about a Jewish woman. And I tell them the story. When I was 10, my best friends were Jewish. Paul Jacobs and uh, David Jordan. They were my best friends. I remember playing football with them because we always used to play football. It was when we were in the showers, I realized as a Muslim that they as a Jew, we had something in common. <laughs> and uh, we were a cut above the rest. I don't know if that, that, uh, that humor got through to you, but uh, I realized that we had a lot in common. Anyway, I'm a man of ideas because this is a great forum for ideas. It's all well and good identifying the problem that we face. There is a growth in neo-Nazism, there is a growth in hatred across the world. But, you know, it's about doing things. It's not about just talking about these issues. We've all identified the issues. I believe that we've got to actually do something about it. Legislation is all well and good, but it's through education that you change people's attitude towards others. That's why this play is so powerful. We take it into schools, we take it into prisons. Um, we've been invited uh, by the Russian ambassador who hosted the play in London to bring it to Russia. And hopefully, um, through my friends here, get it performed at the Russian parliament as part of our parliamentary tour. But the other idea I have is, this is a few months ago, I conceived this idea that 9th of November, which is of course Crystal Line, Night of the Broken Glass, when Jewish businesses are destroyed in Germany, that day should be World Anti-Nazi Day. On that day, I want to see my play performed all over the world. It has already been performed in places like New Zealand, Australia, right away across the United States. In nearly every country in Europe has hosted this play sometimes. So why don't we together do it together on that day, 9th of December, 9th of November, and say that Nazism is history. Because if we do that every year, eventually the Nazis realize that the vast majority of the people don't want them, don't want to listen to them. You see, and the other important thing, and I think my Greek friend touched on it, poverty is the greatest friend of the Nazis. So you eliminate poverty, if you do that, then you eliminate Nazism. Now please support this resolution. We're going to put it through to, to the council here and get them to accept it and adopt it. And if that happens, I'm going to invite the United Nations, who have invited us to perform the play, to adopt the resolution as well. So 9th of November is Anti-Nazi Day. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would like to give the word to Litva, the Party